Hey Aries, how you guys doing? I love you guys. I'm still experiencing <clears throat> strep throat, so I'm sorry. I can't talk, I can't speak. Five of Swords, <clears throat> taking back your power, taking back your power. This is what you're doing, becoming the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess. You guys have some <clears throat> secret knowledge or hidden information, and you guys are keeping it close to your chest. The letter B or J could be significant in this energy. So, Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, High Priestess, Eight of Cups, walking away, <clears throat> walking away, walking away, because you find out information. You have some knowledge, information, and you're walking away. Please, Spirit, let me speak. Please give me my voice in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, restore my voice. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, restore my voice. Holy Spirit and the angels, restore my voice so I can give the message. In the name of Jesus, please, God, restore my voice. Allow me to speak to my people. Allow me to give the message, Spirit, please. These evil witches and warlocks and practitioners, <clears throat> they're upset. They're getting casted out. They're upset. They wanted you to be brokenhearted. They didn't want you to believe in yourself. They wanted to end something. So when they ended something for you, God blessed you with something better. This is why... <clears throat> they're relentless, they're in fear, and they don't know what's coming next. They really don't. They don't know what's coming next. All right, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, you release this burden. You release this burden, Aries. You walked away from this burden because this individual and these individuals, they left you out in the cold. They left you out in the cold. They were not there for you. They were not there for your kids. <clears throat> they orchestrated this downfall or tower moment. They worked together. They teamed up. They could be teaming up right now. If you have a solid foundation, if you're doing good for yourself, if you came up from nothing to something, you got it out the mud. Yeah, you got it out the mud. You're getting something out the mud. And they don't know how you're doing it or how you did it. And now they're feeling defeated. <clears throat> But you're not feeling defeated at all. All right? You're not. Re regardless of what they do to you, regardless of how they try to silence you, regardless if they try to take away your voice, God will restore your voice. God will restore your life. God will restore your blessings. I have so much faith in God. That's why I just came on here and I did that prayer. Just to show you guys that God is real. Okay? They try to take my voice, but God restored it for me. So I can talk to you guys in this video, in this message. You know, just because I have you guys that watch me every day, you take my advice, you guys reach out, you give me your, your beautiful feedback, you give me your beautiful comments, you guys show me so much love, your donations, your gifts, your prayers. I believe in you guys just as much as you guys believe in me. And I, God told me to sit at my desk and turn on my camera and start speaking. God told me he's gonna use me as a testimony for you guys that God is real, that God is here, that he exists, and he is defeating any dark forces that are coming towards you to try to harm you or destroy you. Because whoever you are, you are God's prophet. You are God's angel. You are here on a purpose and a mission. And that's why they're upset because you're not in this energy anymore. Because you're headed for your ten of cups right now. Somebody's looking back that rejected you in the past. This was an orchestrated rejection. They rejected you in the past because they wanted to put you in mental prison. <clears throat> this person that rejected you in the past, this could be an ex, this could be a business owner. They rejected you for some sort of job. They, they, they fired you or... They orchestrated some sort of tower moment for you where, you know, you lost your home.
could have lost your home. They wanted you to lose everything. Nine of Wands in reverse. Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Page of Wands. With the Temperance. Oh, wow. Good news is coming. And the angels are involved. Good news is coming. And the angels are restoring your blessings. This is Sagittarius energy. So there could be an Aries Leo Sag that wants to come towards you. That wants to fulfill their destiny with you. This person is awakened to your connection. This person was around a lot of karmics that were misleading this individual when it comes to you. When this person is turning back around and looking at you, Aries, look at you. Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This person actually sees what they, what they lost. This person actually knows that they were lied to. This person knows that you're the one that, you know, they were meant to connect with. Somebody's going to reach out. They're going to reach out. If you are communicating with this person, they haven't really told you how they feel about you. For real, for real. Maybe they tell you little bits and pieces. Or maybe they show you love here and there. But this person right now, they're preparing a huge offer for you, whoever you are. And Aries Leo Sag is preparing a huge offer for you with the Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. And they're preparing this offer as we speak. Wow. And there's going to be a Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's going to be devastated because you're getting this major offer. The lovers, you and this person, you guys have a destined, you guys have a destined connection. Okay? You guys have a destined connection. The star card, somebody wanted to knock you off your square, knock you off your pedestal, get you off your throne. These people, they didn't want you to have a voice. You see, I'm in my walking testimony. You are walking testimony. Everything was done to you. Every obstacle, every challenge, every spell, everybody teamed up, and there you are, the star, because that's who you are. And you are who you say you are, a superstar. Have no fears. See, you guys are superstars, so you don't have to have no fear. That's the song I heard. That's from Lupe Fiasco, okay? You have no fears. The cameras, the lights, everything's happening. You are going to be world-renowned. You were meant to be in the spotlight. You were meant to be talking to a lot of people. You were meant to remind them of God. You were meant to be a testimony for other people. Using your gifts, using your insight, using your wisdom and knowledge, using your love and understanding and your beautiful energy. You can bring a whole bunch of people together <clears throat> because this is who you are. High Priestess and the Star. Okay? And there was somebody here that's a Scorpio. There's a Scorpio that could be losing sleep or that was losing sleep over you, Aries. There's a Scorpio here that's in this energy or they were in this energy of the Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, all right, because they want to give you the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> they want to give you the Ace of Cups, but they feel like somebody already gave you the Ace of Cups. They feel like you're already, you're already seeing someone else. Or you already moved away from them, or you're doing good, and you're not looking back. There's a Scorpio here that's devastated, okay? Because this Scorpio took you for granted. They underestimated you, all right? It could have been very disrespectful at one point. This Scorpio is experiencing nightmares, sleepless nights, insomnia, loss of the Seven of Pentacles, loss of money, or somebody feels like, they're stuck. They lost some money. All this person could think about is how they, they, they messed up with you. All they could think about is how they didn't give you the Ace of Cups when they had the chance to. Aries, there's a Scorpio that's in heavy regret over you. And there's an Aries Leo Sag that's coming towards you. And the Scorpio knows that they don't have enough to come toward. Like, I don't know. It feels like the Scorpio's having a death and rebirth. Out of body experience. They might be having some sort of epiphany or awakening to their gifts. This person wants to come towards you, but they don't know if you're going to hear them out. They don't know if you want to give them the time of day. They don't know if you're already seeing someone else. So there's like two people coming towards you. There's two people that want to come towards you. That There's a fire sign and a Scorpio. It could be a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio, Aries Leo or Sag. On Thursday afternoon, whoever you are, you're getting good news. All right, and they orchestrated some sort of rejection. This rejection was supposed to put you in mental prison. Maybe it put you in mental prison for a minute and made a mockery out of you because they wanted to leave you behind when you needed them the most. 
So they orchestrated rejection in your life. This could be karmic friends, family members, exes. I feel like it's a whole group of them that orchestrated you, uh, reje to reject you all at the same time, to isolate you all at the same time, to point their fingers at you and, and, and judge you and, and spiritually attack you all at the same time. And that's why you are a fearless warrior. That's why you're very resilient and resist. You, you, you're very resilient, okay? You have a lot of faith in God. And you call on him when you feel targeted, when you feel attacked. You call on him and you speak to God and watch how quick God removes that energy from your space. Believe in him. He is real. He is here for all of us. And God is the one that gave us our spiritual gifts. He's the one that gave us our spiritual abilities. He, he embedded, like, it's like God made you with stardust. God made you with certain DNA that was supposed to activate around this time on earth. You are God's prophets. You are God's healers. Okay? And then I heard Praying Mantis again. I heard Praying Mantis for the second time. In yesterday's video, I heard Praying Mantis. So, so many attacks are being sent to you, whoever you are. So many attacks are being sent to me. Every time I post a video for you guys, I get attacked all over again. I have to fight through that attack. I have to uh, speak to God. At this point, I'm resilient. At this point... I'm unbreakable, I'm unshakable, I'm unstoppable, and that's who you are as well. So the more they attack, the more you gain power. The more they attack, the more you, you, you go up the ladder. The more they attack, the more spirit blesses you, the more God blesses you. So if they want to keep attacking you, they're just going to increase your energy, your gifts, and your blessings. And God is going to show off. Your ancestors are going to show off. They're going to prove these people wrong. And these people are going to be looking like... <clears throat> Chicken without a head. That's what I heard. A chicken without a head. Wow. Somebody could be using chickens. Somebody could be doing some sort of ritual, sacrifice, blood sacrifice onto you using chickens. Whoever you are, you need to stop eating meat for seven days. You need to purify your body from meat for seven days. So that this ritual with the chicken that they've done on you cannot affect you. It will bounce back. Purify your spiritual body. Don't eat chick don't eat chicken. Don't eat no meat for seven days. And you guys already know that there's fake meat in the food store. And this fake meat is probably making us sick. It could be making you sick. It could be making you swell up. Have weird dreams. Feel low vibrational. Giving you uh stomach aches and um and, and suggest ingest like indigestion or something with your stomach. Okay? Well, this is a message for someone watching this video. Somebody used chicken blood, sacrificing chickens, doing a ceremony in order to destroy you, defeat you, or take you out. Whoever you are, you're unbreakable, like I already said. You have powerful ancestors backing you up. There's no way that they're going to be able to take you out with their, with their spell work. God is not allowing it. God is canceling any contracts that are being put on you right now because they put contracts on your head. They put contracts, not just contracts where they're paying people to come and take you out. They did that too. They actually paid somebody to come in your life and take you out. It didn't work. Time and time again, you were protected. Thank God for your protection. They're putting contracts on you in the spirit realm. So this is like a spiritual hitman. The spiritual hitman that's supposed to do some sort of witchery, conjuring up of demons, blood sacrifice with a chicken. Whoever you are, you need to go into prayer every day and every night. Speak to God. He is your protection against these evil warlocks and witches. He is your protection. He is your almighty tower. And you come to him and you are safe. I am your testimony, guys. I am a testimony for you guys. I just did that on camera on purpose. So any witches or warlocks watching my videos, <laughs> good luck. Good luck because God loves me. And God put me here to speak to my soul tribe, to remind people of him. And to remind people that God's the one that gave us our gifts, not the devil. And that we were not meant to go on a dark path with our gifts. We were meant to use them to help other people and to heal other people and ourselves. To be testimonies of God's mercy and God's grace. So yes, leave me the, leave me a comment down below and say God and say God is restoring all my blessings. 
All right, God is restoring all my blessings. God is defeating all my enemies. No contract put on me will ever prosper. I am protected. Okay, because whoever you are, you don't understand how protected you really are. They come against you day in and day out, day in and day out. You see these people, they're put in places, they're, they're, they're meant to try to trigger you, they're meant to put you in fear, they want to get you isolated, they want you to be paranoid. But what's happening is that when your back is against the wall, you become a warrior. That's when you fight the hardest. You're stubborn in a good way because you're not going to allow these people to come in and take you down and silence you. God put you here. God gave you your, 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 your journey, and God gave you your testimony, and God gave you your strength, and God gave you your faith, and God gave you your gifts. So they're not coming up against you. They're coming up against you and God, all your angels and all your ancestors, and that is a whole team of, of, of high vibrational energy that they cannot penetrate you. All right? They're, they're protecting you at all costs. Wow. So now I feel like you are forced to, you're being forced to reflect and going back, your, you know, taking back your personal power. <clears throat> now they wish they never did it. Somebody's company is going under. So there's, you got fired from a job, you know, you could have got fired from a job and they fired you wrongfully, wrongfully fired you. It was orchestrated. It was a setup. They were supposed to fire you to put you in mental prison to get you to seek revenge, be vengeful, give up. But that's not what happened. They fired you from this job and you started taking back your power. You started following your North Node. You started thinking about ways to make money, ways to have your own business, ways to um, alchemize and manifest more money. You did that. Whoever you are, you did that. You did that, and you're doing that, okay? Because God is in control of your life. And this company that fired you or this boss or this group, people that targeted you at work, just I want you to know that you're going to find out, and it's going to be in the news or in the, it's going to be public information that this company is going down, this company is going under, this company is closing, and, and, and they're in bankrupt. So that company's bankrupt. Ever since they, they, they did that to you, they went, they went down. Things started going left. People started quitting. This company owes a lot of money and they're bankrupt. All right? So for whoever you are, you're getting karmic justice from this company. And you're going to hear about it. And then I heard the song by Justin Bieber. So like I said before, there's a Pisces kids, a Scorpio, <clears throat> Aries, Leo, or Sag. And they want to reach out to you guys. But they don't have your number. And they're, they are afraid of how you will react. And they are afraid that it's too late for them to come towards you. And then I heard the song. Is it too late now to say sorry? Is it more than just your body? Somebody wants to know if it's too late for them to say I'm sorry. Okay? Yeah, you can, uh, you know, let me just say this. It's okay to say I'm sorry. It's okay to accept somebody's apology. It's okay to forgive them and let go and heal. But whoever you are, don't be so quick to uh, trust this person again. Don't be so quick to trust them again. They got to prove it to you. This person has to prove it to you that they've changed, that they're healing, and that they want a real connection with you, and that they're not coming with any secret agendas, and that they're not coming to with a secret plan to defeat you, because this person does not want that sauce, trust me. This person does not want to come towards you in that energy, trust me, because you have more protection now than you ever did. And your ancestors are watching this individual, whoever this person is in your life. Hmm. What's the message, spirit? Somebody's kid is going to run away, or somebody's child ran away, runaway child, maybe you guys ran away when you were younger because you were being abused. Somebody's child was being abused and they ran away. Side message? Or maybe that happened to you as a, as a child? Orchestrated childhood trauma? Orchestrated childhood trauma, okay? I'm going to end this video because my voice, guys, my voice. 
somebody's coming to block you and the, and you're protected from this person. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, this person got a warrant for their arrest. This person got legal issues. And they want to come towards you to block you. What the heck? This person got all this bad karma. They're going through some sort of um, issues with the justice system. I heard Veronica, Ronnie, Valerie, Vincent or Vince, Terry, Rachel. This person has a warrant or somebody's getting a warrant for their arrest. Somebody got pending, pending issues. Like this person got some pending something pending in, in the justice system and now this person could be going on the run or they feel like they got to leave or they're going to hide and run or somebody knows they got a warrant but they're still coming towards you to block you they're going to try this person is over here giving people lies about you aries they're giving people the wrong information about you on purpose in order to block you but somebody took a look for themselves and they see that you're not who this person said you are all right your whole community your whole community is get, is looking at you, whoever you are, in a different light now. The whole community is talking. And the whole community is upset because this individual in your life, in your family, somebody that was supposed to be close to you, they gave the community all this wrong information about you. They told the community that you did not have God, that you don't believe in God, that you're a witch, that you're this, that you're that. Everybody's starting to look at this person like, you know what? You made that up. That's not true. We know this person. We know that's not who they are. And now they're mad because everybody in the community or at the workplace or wherever you, you know, these people are, this could be on an online community, right? Somebody could be trying to ruin your reputation online so people don't support you. Black cat. Somebody watching, you have a black cat. That is your spirit guide. That is a spirit animal. That's one of your familiars. Okay, this black cat, when they come around, or if you have this black cat, this is your spirit guide. If the black cat comes around, just know that's like the black cat is watching over you because there's some somebody conjuring up something dark. They're trying to distract you on purpose. Somebody with their past betrayals and secrets coming out to the light. Now this person is ready to come towards you and be honest. The only way you can forgive this person, Aries, if they come to you with the truth. If they tell you why they were working against you and who they were working with and all the things that they did to you behind the scenes, they need to come clean. All right? This person watches you every day. They watch you every day. They could be watching you right now. This person probably watches me every day because they want to know what's going on in your life, Aries. Somebody watches my channel so they can find out what's going on with you guys. That's crazy. That is insane. Instead of watching you, this person needs to watch their step. They need to watch the words that come out their mouth with their word magic. They need to watch the way they treat their children. They need to watch who they talk to, about to you. Because this person has a pending tower moment. This person has pending legal issues. This person, you know, they better watch their step when they talk about you, when they come towards you, all right? I watch you every day. Damn, this person, somebody could have red hair. Somebody could be short, thick, all right? Somebody could need to go to the mechanic. They're having car trouble. Or this could be you or them. You guys are getting an unexpected phone call from this person, but they're not going to say too much. They want to see where your head is at. They want to see where your energy is. They're just going to call you out of nowhere randomly. This person could be pregnant. Or somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could have found out they were pregnant. And this person is like... <clears throat> All right. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with that could be finding out about a pregnancy. And you might get an unexpected phone call about this pregnancy or just get an unexpected phone call from this person you haven't talked, you've been talking to because... You found out that this person was working against you. You found out that this person was sleeping with your ex. Mm. Yeah, this person has a split personality, so be careful. All right? All right? Obsessed. This person's obsessed. This could be a karmic female that's a co-worker that's obsessed. These dark web hackers trying to scam you in your emails. Be careful. They're all being arrested. They're being raided. Yeah, somebody's getting a business loan approved or they got a loan approved in your name. This karmic got a loan approved in your name, using your information, spent the money, and now this karmic is going to court because they're going to go to jail because they have facial recognition in the bank, wherever they were. This person got caught <clears throat> for using your information, falsifying documents to get a business loan in your name. 
They're going down. They're going to jail. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. All right, my loves, that's your message. I love you guys. I hope this helped. Thank you guys for supporting me and watching the video. Even though my voice is messed up, you guys still watch my videos. I love you guys. And don't worry. You guys keep praying for me. God is restoring my voice. And I will never stop coming to deliver your messages because I'm a fearless warrior and so are you. I love you guys. Till the next time, namaste.